Hey guys, welcome to a video with me, the Stock Dad. Uh, we're gonna do a quick recap video of what happened today in the market. Uh, I haven't been on YouTube very much, so I thought I'd hop on and do a little recap of what happened today in the market, which is June the 4th. Um, we're gonna go over the data, the GEX levels, the flow, and then my thought process going on throughout the day. And hopefully this gives you guys, guys a little bit of insight of what I am thinking while the data comes out in the market. So hopefully this helps. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this video. Okay, so here is all of the data that came out uh, on June 4th. You can see we have the date here and then we have the times in Pacific time. So um, as you guys know, I journal everything that happens in the market as far as market net flow, um, the, the flow that comes in, and then also the gamma exposure levels that come in. Um, I do a little bit of other analysis with data, um, but for the most part, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Um, the market net flow and then the gamma exposure levels, which I pretty much use exclusively for my trading, um, my trading strategy, I guess you could say. So um, right off the bat, you can see that the market opened at 6.30, at 6.44 at this point. Um, we had a little bit of bullish flow, and you can see over here a comparison of what happened actually in the market today. So uh, as we're moving on, you can see what happens to price, and during that time I have charts and stuff um, as this opens up too. So we could see that we had call flow starting to come up a little bit. Now we did remain bullish for the entire day from the, mo I think, let me make sure. Yeah. So we were pretty much bullish the entire day um, for market net flow. So keep that in mind as we move on here. So I say here, great convergence. Currently we have GEX levels pulling in both directions, 526 as well as 529. If we hold below 4 527, we run the risk of pulling to those downside levels. So what I mean by that is we can see, oh, it's kind of hard to see one on our uh, stream here, but um, for the most part, you can see what's going on here. We have great convergence, which usually, usually indicates that the price is going to be going contrary to flow. So since we have bullish flow, we have great convergence. That means price should be heading down. Um, so in this case, we saw a little bit of a move up in the market. This was a screenshot at that time. So over here in the chart, you can see it was about around this level, right in the middle of 526.50 is about where um, I took that screenshot. So I said, um, if we go below 527, or if we hold below 527, sorry, we run the risk of pulling to those downside levels. And what I mean by that are these downside GEX levels. See how we have these negative levels? Now remember, negative GEX levels uh, tend to be price magnets towards um, those certain levels. So we could see that we had 526. We also had 525 and 523, I think I see that there. Um, but that changed a little bit. But those are a lot smaller than this 526 level, okay? So uh, we move on. We can see that flow kind of chopped around a little bit. We had a news candle which pushed us above 527, but it was quickly rejected um, with that liquidity grab and we held below that 527 level. So at this point, I'm like, okay, if we hold below this 527 level, we should head back down. Um, and it did eventually do that. We did chop um, in between this uh, 526 and uh, 527 level right here for a while. Uh, but nonetheless, um, we have this, we have 526 magnetizing towards um, that level, we have a ton of resistance gex up, up above, I can't talk, up above us, which are all these positive levels, 527, 528. So in my my mind, I'm thinking right now, okay, we're, we shouldn't get above 527 uh, during this time. We should have a slight pullback towards 526 at least. Uh, and you can see that's what happened here. We bounced off of it, 526 um, was right here in the chart. You can see we had a big liquidity grab, bounced here, came back up, tested 527, and we then we initially made the move down. Uh, but I am getting a little bit ahead of myself here. So let's talk about when uh, I did notice that pullback that we were going to start pulling back in the market, and that was pretty much right here on this post at 8.03 a.m. Pacific time. Um, I said GEX is kind of pulling towards that 524 level, watching that level to see if we pull more. If we break low, that is what I would like to be, what I would be looking at despite the slight bullish flow. So you can see we had a call flow slightly above puts at about 2 million to negative 2 million, but we have this bigoted, bigoted, <laughs> This big negative uh, GEX level at 524, which we didn't hit today, but still that gave me enough um, motivation to uh, think that the market was going to head down at least a little bit. Um, so we got that 524 negative pull, and then the market started heading down below 526, you can see here. 
Um, now we bought them actually at 525. So that was something that threw me off just a little bit. I thought we were going to get a little bit deeper pullback towards that 524 level. Um, you can see that we didn't quite hit that. We hit 525 almost to the penny. Um, so that did catch me off guard a little bit, but nonetheless, um, flow started to ramp up a lot. We saw call flows and then we saw the reversal off that 524 level off that wick there. Okay, let's see. So this is um, when you kind of can confirm we got uh, that reversal, we got green convergence, then we had the market structure shift um, right here with this big green candle right here um, off this order block, okay? Okay, there's that. Um, so I did miss a good portion of this run actually because I was on the phone, which is okay. Um, but we saw the SPX, so if we go over to SPX, or sorry, this is SPY. Um, we, if we look at the SPY GEX levels during this post, um, 528 was pulling negative um, a lot, a lot. Um, and then price quickly matched that almost instantly. We could see that we hit 528 and we actually kept going. So um, there was a lot of mem momentum in the market with green convergence and then these GEX levels as well. Um, I like to switch between SPY GEX and then also SPX GEX because sometimes um, SPX GEX tells me something that SPY doesn't. So um, it's always good to look at both those. So in this case, um, we saw um, 5,300 pulling um, right here on uh, SPX and that is actually um, where we almost topped in the market um, today. Um, over here you can see that we hit almost 5,300. We hit like, let's see, 529886 or so. So pretty dang close um, if you want my honest opinion there. So um, something to make note of also is um, you can also catch some really nice scalps. So if you go over here um, you can see that uh, there was a lot of resistance here at this uh, 5280. Right, let me go over to SPY actually. Um, but you can see that we're, there was a lot of resistance um, here at this 527 level. This was a previous level that we broke in GEX level earlier. Um, so we came up, hit 529, came back down, and tested that 527 level. And I did actually go long there um, for a brief moment. Um, so yeah, guys, that's just the, a little bit of an insight of how you can utilize gamma exposure levels and also flow to make some quick trades. Um, you don't have to be looking at the charts 24 seven. Um, you can only, you can take one trade and that could be uh, your one and done for the day. And those are my favorite days actually, because it's very stress-free. I can make my 200 or so dollars. You guys know how, um, shabby I am, I guess you could say in that $200 day. Um, but Pretty much all you need is just those one uh, quick trades um, going off of flow, gex, and uh, yeah, market net flow, gex, and all that and convergence. Um, but hopefully that helped you guys. Um, I thought I'd make this quick video since I had a little bit of time with no kids. Um, so let me know again what you guys think in the comments below. I love you. I will see you in the next one.